And so on to the next project. This time it's going to be the area right at the very top of the stairs. There's not a lot to do here. I've just screwed the windowsill down and patched up some of the plaster. Um, basically it's really just uh, this corner over by these two doors. Just some woodwork to rub down and paint. A little bit of the ceiling left to paint. And then it will be um, some wallpaper on the walls and possibly some colour. Oh, and change the light because obviously having a light bulb on the wire sticking out the wall is not, not very good. Well it's been a couple of weeks now and as you can see I've moved along in the hallway up here on the top floor. The floor has been sanded, treated for woodworm and varnished. Um, it's not consistent colour though unfortunately. There seems to be a patch over here that's quite dark. Uh, covered up by a rug anyway so it won't really matter. Uh, the ceiling's been finished off being painted. The walls I spent far, far too long filling all the holes and rubbing down, trying to get the walls reasonably flat. The window has been finished off, that's been uh, filled in around the edge now and painted. The windowsill has been put on, painted. The wall underneath the windowsill has also been patched. The stairs have all been sanded. I've just finished painting the skirting board going down the stairs, so that's all done. And uh, that's about to have a couple of coats of varnish on. That should come up quite nice.
Now that the wallpaper has all been done up on the top landing here, the outside walls have got the 3mm thick insulating wallpaper, so the walls are no longer cold to touch, and the internal walls have all just been painted with lining paper. As you can see, I've also painted all the doors up here. The lights have been changed from just a cable dangling along with a light bulb on it to this one on the stairs. And this one in the ceiling. So I need to get some paint now to paint the wallpaper. Um, but that's for another month. As you can see, the stairs have all been varnished a couple of times and they've all come up really nice. I'm very pleased with those. And yeah. So. The next problem I'm going to tackle is this door to the back bedroom on the top floor. As you can see, there is a Bit of a gap. Um, door does lock, but what's happened is the frame has come away. From the wall, so I need to take that off and fix it back to the wall. Hopefully I won't have to take all the door frame out, just this one piece.
Well that's the trim off from this side which was loose and it's probably not a surprise it's loose because there's a big hole there. Um, there's also, I don't know if you can see this, there's a small tongue on this piece of wood and there's a groove on this so the tongue should fit in the groove. I'm guessing that the dust from the wall was filling the groove and stopping it being pushed back in. Uh, it should be a case of just cleaning everything up, putting some new screws in, some better fixings into the wall and fix it back properly. Well that's the door frame sorted. I did have to put some screws in the front edge here to pull this into here. What was happening was the wood was twisting around that way a little bit so there was a gap opening up. Put just a few screws in there just hold it all together. It's now rock solid and I've got to put the decorative architrave around but it's only pinned on that will only take five minutes. But the best bit is now when the door closes there is no gap you can't get your fingers in down there and that's sorted another job out